Well, I told her, didn't I? If she goes with blokes like that, she's going to end up a right old grabber. Do you know what that stupid cow turned around and done? Yeah, I know you told me. Yeah, well... She gave him the keys. Come in. Hello. Oh, hello, June. I'm awfully sorry. I didn't know you had anyone with you. You look just like you do on the telly. You know Marlene, don't you? No. No, I don't. Oh. Oh, well, she's what you might call a... My understudy. Oh. Oh, I see. How do you do? Uh, she's always talking about you, Miss Bakrish. Oh. Nothing detrimental, I hope. Oh, no. No, honest. We're both regular viewers, aren't we, Beth? Well, it's jolly nice to hear. You never know these days. I was just telling Betty the other day how you were my favourite. And when she told me you were a friend of hers, you could have put me on my back for the feather. Yes, well, it doesn't take much more than that in the best of times, does it? <laughs> <laughs> you want a cup of tea, or, or would you rather have a drink? Oh, a drink, please. Funny? No, not today. It's ever so real, that program, isn't it? I mean, that girl Rosie, she did not carry on. I like laughing when you tore off a strip for carrying on with those soldiers from the army camp. Huh? <laughs> oh, yes, she, she's, a, she's a real hand, thanks. She's a real handful, Rosie. Mind you, she's not a bad girl. It's just that she's irresponsible. Absolutely irresponsible. That's just how she seems. Oh, as a matter of fact, I, uh, I think I can let you into a little secret about next Thursday's oh, program. I find Rosie behind her dad's barn with one of those gypsy chaps who's been camping on the common. Rotten little scrapper. Oh, you do get fierce sometimes when you're telling people off. <gasps> now that time Dr. William came to perform an operation, he'd been drinking again. I really thought you was going to make him cry. Oh, but then he told you about the trouble he'd been having with his wife, and you were ever so sympathetic, weren't you? Don't you think you're going to be in a little late for your appointment for cocktail? Uh, for Hilton. Hilton? Yes, for Hilton. around Miss Z. It was nice to have met you. Cheerio. I'll talk to you later, eh, Beth? Mm. Till our Maud. See you tomorrow. Had a row with Alice, have you? What makes you think that? Oh, come on, June. We know each other better than that. Well, it was nothing. Nothing at all, really. Certainly not enough to send your friend rushing off like that. What, Marley? <laughs> if that's her, then. Oh, I know you've never been interested in business, girl. Well, it's, it's not a question of being interested. It just depends on what one's looking for, doesn't it? Well, what's one looking for, then? Love and affection? I suppose you could put it like that, yes. Well, I think I need a drink now. And uh, you think you're getting that from Alice? Love and affection? Well, we've been together for a long time. Yeah, I know. That wasn't what I asked you. You don't like her much, do you? I never said that. Things haven't always been easy for her, you know. <laughs> oh, I expect you right. Get yourself another drink. Yeah, of course you can. Come in. Let him in, shall I? Who? He never said anyone was coming. Well, that was him on the phone earlier. <laughs> well, it is four o'clock. Well, why didn't you tell me? Well, I mean... <laughs> I don't be daft. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. My sir. Oh, you don't need to hurry. Make yourself a drink and then let yourself out later. It won't be long, will really. it? Impatient, are we? You want to wait in there? If it's all the same to you, I think I'll have my drink at home. All right. Did 
tomorrow, perhaps. Hope so. Thanks for the drink. If you need anything, just shout. Okay. Uh, can I have a backup?